One of the biggest topics that I feel most of us get into, or at least the hardcore Blue Lock fans tend to get into from time to time, is the position most players should actually be playing. As we all know, at the beginning of the Blue Lock series, every single player that we know and love today, or at least the ones that came from Blue Lock, were all strikers. In turn, we got to see them develop over the series, not just getting better at the sport itself, but also basically learning new positions from scratch. Obviously, they knew how to play the game, they just didn't know any other position besides striker. They were all strikers when they got there, but there are very few that are going to remain strikers by the time they are gone. Even now in the NEL, there's very few blue lockers who are actually playing the striker position, whether this be due to the depth that they have or just, you know, the skill of the player themselves. It kind of just, it, it kind of just goes to show that there, are, it kind of just goes to show that most of these blue lockers belong at different positions. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion on what position I believe every single blue lock player would excel at the most. For this video, I'm only covering the blue lockers adding in you know the u20 players that join them besides the defenders we haven't really seen i don't care about them i'm just sticking to the main named players that we all know and love with that out the way grab some snacks fill those cups sit back relax and enjoy and let's get straight into it everybody okay uh don't i just love the tier list format <laughs> i basically have all the blue lockers here don't worry you can't see all of them they're down here i'm just going to be keeping this so it looks kind of nice and neat and my ocd doesn't make me want to drive my head through the wall there's already been a hole in the wall you can't see it because i patched it but still there, there's going to be another one soon enough starting off with the elephant in the room i feel like most people are going to be wondering where i have to put this guy uh, it's pretty obvious cam and that's not to say that he's a bad striker or anything no 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 far from it as far as strikers are concerned besides borrow potentially shido and then rin obviously he's the best option they got but just due to isagi's play style and the fact that he's involved in almost every single play whether it's offensively defensively in the playmaking department if he's just going off ball and setting up himself to get in a better position or his teammates to open up themselves he is always the most effective player and probably the most prominent player on the pitch at all times i feel like at the central attacking midfield position it would allow him to excel the most because he'd be at the center of all of it able to go from offense to defense it's going to give him the perfect position to become the game's overall field master as well as still allowing him to score goals which is his true goal at the end of the day next up we got the panther himself chigiri hyoma i don't think this is going to be much of a shock to you guys but he should be a winger he, he should he should be a winger <laughs> specifically going along the left side of the pitch i believe it's the left side of the pitch he said uh allowing him to play that left winger spot just sending deep balls to him like imagine rio hops off nagi's dick right and learns how to send perfect itoshi sai level long balls all the way into the open space constantly for shigiri that's gonna allow him to use his speed in order to get to his golden zone which is the most effective scoring method that manchon city has seen throughout the entirety of their matches so far. Joining him in the wingers category is going to be Yukimiya Kenyu, the 1v1 emperor himself. Behind Bachira, I'd have to say he's got the best dribbling in the entirety of the facility. I think that's been stated. His physical stats themselves are actually really good. He's a lot bigger than you'd expect. I kind of didn't realize how big he was, you know. Besides his eyesight, this dude's kind of a fucking unit. On top of that, his passing is really underrated and not a lot of people give him credit for that. And he's a very good striker at the end of the day. I mean, he did score that sword screw on Rio, so it's pretty impressive. I don't think we need to talk about this one. Gagamaru, goalkeeper done born to play the position and actually so while we're on the topic of goalkeepers there's actually one other person i believe belongs here and that is going to be sendow <laughs> like genuinely after that last match sendow can make a case for top three defenders in the entirety of the series bro he is him when it comes to clutch saves nobody does it like sendow it's kind of crazy but yeah i feel like just his innate ability to save goals is kind of wasted at the central forward spot because he really doesn't do anything as a forward so just put him in fucking net. All right, coming up next is Zan Tetsu. Now we haven't seen Zan Tetsu in a bit, but based off the little bit of evaluation he got from the PXG match, I would assume he's currently playing somewhere in the defense. I wouldn't really agree with this unless it's like a right or left wing back and he's playing out wide so that he can burn down the field. If that's the case, then sure, you can make the case for him playing back there. But truthfully, I feel like he'd be best similar to his fellow speedster Chigidi at the right or left wing position. Oh shit, sound the fraud alarms, everybody. Sound the fraud alarms because we got Kunigami Rensuke obviously kunigami is meant to be a striker but he is realistically a fraud so if we had a fraud or bench category that's where he'd be but striker is currently where he's going to be playing uh moving on to karasu now a lot of people always talk about how good he is at cdm but you can't take away the fact that his main position was always a striker and he 
is at the end of the day a striker by nature even though he has been shown to be a great cdm either way i do feel like leaving up the cdm spot is probably what's best for him it's probably where we're going to see him in the pxg match so i think it just makes the most sense and based off everything that we saw in the u20 match i think it's safe to say that cars is going to be a pretty effective cdm for pxg moving on to meguru bachira we know that to pair with his phenomenal dribbling he has great passing which could really really help him out at the center attacking midfielder position because that's kind of everything you need to do to be a main playmaker but the thing is Bachira himself is a little too egotistical to realistically do that i know at the end of the day a lot of these guys are too egotistical to play these positions but i feel like actually Bachira would be like that selfish uh drop-ins pro clubs cam like uh, that you run into on fifa like it's a cam that only passes when it's going to be a one two back to him and you know that it's going to be a one two back to him so it's like fuck he'd also be very great at the wing position just allowing him to break down whatever defenders are along the side bring up the ball and then use his great passing to cross the ball and could also be effective and then obviously he's been a pretty effective striker for barcha so you can put him at the striker position and but realistically i do feel like he would fit in best at the central attacking midfielder position right behind his boyfriend he saw he isn't that so cute staying away from the attacking side finally we have mikage rio who is going to be a central defensive midfielder alongside karasu we all know rio has his copy ability he's copied iku's defenses as well as the defensive capabilities of all the U20 defenders. We've already seen that in action. Not to mention the fact that he's copied the playmaking of Atoshi Sai, that Nagi's trapping in agile moves. So he's definitely like the most all-around player that they have on this list, and you can slot him almost anywhere you want to. I feel like the CDM spot just works the best, not only for him, but everyone around him. You understand what I'm saying? Ooh, Raichi is up next. I feel like Raichi would be best as a back. I, I just feel like his aggression, his Raichiness, if you will would just serve him really well to just be a back. Like, I know he still wants to play striker and all that shit, but dude, come on. You're not, you, you, ain't, you ain't got that in you. All right, Isagi's boyfriend number three now. He got demoted. He was actually number one for a little bit, but uh, now he's down to number three. Tough. Um, This is tough. The, the two best things that he excels at are his speed and his passing. So I feel like that would suit him best on the wing. His dribbling is pretty good, but not that great. But still, I feel like his skill set would be best suited for winger if you disagree then I, I completely understand it's a little bit contentious and you kind of can put them wherever you want to but that's just where i feel like he'd be the best all right moving on to otoya shout out my boy dev he is actually the voice actor for otoya in the english dub now otoya himself is actually going to round up our wingers now yeah i, I know i filled that row up pretty quick but well, we're done trust me th th there's no more we haven't seen anything from otoya since the barcher match and even there he didn't really do much he is known as the only stealth type player that we have in the series so i feel like it would have been cool to utilize that as some sort of a meta vision counter maybe we'll see that later on in the series and his stealth can kind of bypass it but as for right now he's kind of bottom of the barrel as far as these guys are concerned if i were to order it this is kind of the order i'd put those wingers in he, he, he hasn't really done much and we don't have that much to go off of besides his barcher performance so i think just comfortably putting him above Zantetsu who we've really seen even less of since then uh, and also as a lower bid would just be a, a safer option he was able to snag himself a starting spot on Barch's roster the first week that they played so I mean he can't be that bad at the end of the day and I mean hey if Lavinio thinks she should be at the wing he should be at the wing oh it's Toki guys I haven't seen Toki in a minute all right this big old ball of stamina is just going to be our fucking charging bull in the backfield you can put him a cdm too but i don't think he'd be that great at controlling the midfield whereas if you can just put him in the backfield and just let him bully motherfuckers because he's bigger stronger and has more stamina than everybody then i feel like he'd just go stupid he'd go batshit dude are you kidding me imagine a tokamitsu brexit or a tokamitsu hit stick like dude that would be awesome borrow show obviously going up into the striker category we're not talking about that uh, same with this, he's already been shown where he should be, same with Aiku, and let's finish it off by adding their final Uber's brethren to where he belongs. I honestly do feel like Nico would serve best at the CDM spot, and I feel like it makes the most sense. I mean, his ability to control the game in the first selection was really good, so I assume that it's still just as good if he had to get himself into that prominent role, but now, due to the fact that he's become such a good defender, he's got yet another skill under his belt so now he's just a more all-around player that can excel in the backfield but he'll also be able to take control from the midfield if he needed to all right shido ryusei um i really don't think we need to talk about this one he is a striker through and through much like Baro, these two are obvious strikers like you really can't argue that there are any other position besides striker period yo hiori he's a cam 
plain and simple he is a central attacking midfielder and a really good one at that uh, like honestly he is he's really freaking good at what he does and he's only done it for about 10 minutes yeah yeah no pre pretty peak for fucking 10 minutes and oh dear did i not just go ahead and save the best for last oh boy clamp glazing as always put my boys at the top where they belong obviously nagi fall from grace i'm still gonna keep him above kuni because kuni is literally non-existent in the manga at the moment but atoshi rin well, I would love to put him here because I, f I feel like he would be best as a cam. Currently, the goals that he's scoring is showing me otherwise. Like, my mind is telling me put him at a cam because everything that Rin does, he's just another Isagi, as we all know at the end of the day. They have the same strengths, similar weaknesses, similar play styles, and realistically, where one excels, the other can excel just as well. Like I said with Isagi, you can put him up in the striker position, but I'm keeping him at cam. And like I'm going to say with Rin, you can put him at the cam position, but I'm gonna keep him a striker. And that's just how it's gonna be for now. Okay, and this is the proper position I believe every single blue locker should be playing as opposed to what they're currently playing now. <laughs> Obviously, you guys are gonna have differing opinions, so make sure you leave those in the comments down below so we can argue back and forth and scream at each other. And if you wanted to enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and consider something up to the channel with post notifications turned on so you never miss another banger from myself. And as always, I love you boys. Take it easy.